Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. May receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. At the park, Adam and Chelsea play football with Connor, who suddenly spots something in the distance and looks concerned. They ask if everything is oak, and Adam whispers that maybe coming there was a mistake. Chelsea replies, how would we know? How will we ever know? Connor rejoins them, and Chelsea asks about him staring. Does it feel strange being back there? Connor concedes a lot of things have changed. Chelsea reminds him to pull from his resources. Connor says he has to figure out how to deal with weird things. Adam steals the football from Chelsea, and they all chase each other. At society, Billy runs into Sally, and they discuss Connor's progress and note that Adam and Chelsea seem to have a weight lifted. Billy still thinks she's keeping a secret. Sally knows he means well, but it's got to be hard for her if he keeps bringing it up. Billy says he's made a decision and it's one he should probably fill her in on. He sits and says he's decided to back off on questioning what happened between Adam and Chelsea. He knows she'll share whatever's going on with him in time. Sally's impressed and wants to believe him, but his suspicions started to get in her head. Billy's sorry about that. Sally says she and Adam have gotten back to themselves after bonding over Ava's loss. Billy finds it hard to believe he's the only one lying awake at night, wondering what they're keeping from them. At Crimson Lights, Daniel offers to buy Nick a coffee and then asks if he's seen Sharon lately. Nick says he's seen her more with Faith home. Daniel admits she's been on his mind. He went over the other day to pitch a video game in Cassie's memory. They had an exchange that left him feeling bad, and he thought the game could ease some of the tension but she's not returning his calls. Nick asks if he thought there was a chance that could set her off, why even go there? Daniel explains he was trying to forge a connection that might allow Sharon to associate him with something positive instead of something painful. Nick admits he's been worried about Sharon lately too. Daniel confesses that had a conversation with Lucy about it, it was hard discussing the tragedy. Nick thinks Sharon is weighed down by the past right now. He appreciates Daniel's video game idea, but it's probably best for now if he keeps his distance from Sharon. Daniel agrees to stay away from Sharon if that's what Nick thinks is best. Nick appreciates it. Daniel also feels he should apologize for Lucy's behavior with Faith the other night. Nick, confused, has no idea what he's talking about. Daniel says his underage daughter invited his daughter to a concert and snuck alcohol in. She is grounded. Nick says he's sorry, that couldn't have been easy. Daniel says that given he's had Cassie's accident on his mind, it was disturbing. Nick tells him about Faith's accident, which scared her off of alcohol. Daniel fears this won't derail Lucy's desire to grow up too quickly. Faith finds Sharon at her desk at home. Sharon says she's delaying her mini-retreat because there's too much going on at work. Faith thought Maria was taking over. Sharon says she won't have to put it off forever. Cameron appears on the couch and congratulates her for lying so well to Faith. They both know the truth. She can't leave Genoa City because all the answers she is looking for are right there. Faith asks, where did you go? I'm worried about you. Sharon claims that she just remembered an email she has to send. Don't you have plans with friends today? Faith urges her mother to trust Mariah and go on her retreat. Maria enters as Sharon snaps that she told her she would go as soon as she takes care of work. Maria asks, Don't you think I can handle running things by myself? Cameron, in the corner, snarks, Can't wait to hear you talk your way out of this one. Sharon tells Mariah she trusts her, but makes excuses about things she has to attend to at work. Mariah tells her she took care of those things last week. Faith wants to know what's really going on. Is she afraid to leave Esther in charge at Crimson Lights? Maria wonders if she's worried about traveling alone. Faith offers to go with her. 
Sharon leaps up, knocking her laptop to the floor, and hollers at them for treating her like she's about to break. Cameron tells Sharon she needs to rein it in. The idea is to make them worry less about her, not more. If she keeps flying off the handle, they'll never back off. Sharon changes her tune and apologizes for snapping at them. Going back on her meds has been a roller coaster. They insist she should get away. Sharon promises to rebook her travel plans this afternoon.